Hey YouTube, I was going about my day happily and I happened to actually just look on Instagram of all places to see, you know, as you do, get distracted by things and see the, I saw the announcement from Rogue Amoeba, that's where I saw it first. Normally I'd see it on Twitter or maybe their blog, but that they added a live streaming block to Audio Hijack. And this is something I've been, I think if you go back to my interview with even Paul Kafasis, I was like asking him for that or maybe it was in a conversation afterwards, uh, thinking that Audio Hijack with a the ability to live stream audio to YouTube, Periscope, Twitch, audio only, and then send some sort of screenshot or artwork or whatever would be awesome because so many folks are not interested in sending video of themselves talking, but would love to be able to stream audio out to those services. So looks like they've done it. One important note before we get started, this is a beta. So they're trying to test this out, help let us test this out with them. And so I'm just going to do a quick recording of myself setting it up for the very first time here with Audio Hijack 3.7, see how it works. So things might break, things might not work awesome the first time around, but uh, here goes nothing. Okay, so I've upgraded to Audio Hijack 3.7. I'm going to do a new session, just start blank just for fun. So first thing I want is a capture device. I want to grab my, in my case, the Scarlett microphone. I've got a preset so that it grabs just the left channel uh, or just the first channel as left and right because it's not a stereo mic, it's just a mono mic. And uh, let's grab application audio just for fun here. Uh, I don't have anything running actually. Let's run uh, Frago. Okay, so let's grab Frago as a sound. Perfect, so far so good. I'm gonna add a meter as I like to do. Peak RMS meter on each track, just so I can see where they're at. I'm just gonna move these apart just for fun. And maybe a volume as well in front of that, so I can boost or drop the volume as I need to when I'm recording or streaming live. So that brings up one question, I guess, is whether you want to record this or if it's just gonna rely on, say, Periscope or, or whatever they're recording. Generally, I advise recording uh, whatever you're doing. I say record all the time, all the things. So in this case, I'm just going to do uncompressed AFF, default settings. There's other videos I have on how the recording blocks can work for you. I, Like I said, I always like to use uncompressed if you have the storage space, the drive space, and the speed to do that, uh, just because then you've got a high quality of audio to start with, especially because you're recording into your fancy expensive microphone on your computer, right? And uh, you can use that later to repackage it for a podcast, audio podcast, uh, wherever you might be doing that. So now in the new part, in the past we had this broadcast block, which was for going to a IceCast radio server, like it was 2007. Uh, so luckily they've added live stream. So we're gonna throw that one on there. And let's see, I'm guessing there's some settings in here. Perfect. So I'm just going to move this all up so we can see it. Chris ends his live stream. Testing out audio hijack 3.7, we'll call it. Beta. So let's hope this works. I can do some artwork. So let's grab some artwork. So probably the Bigger the better. They don't really specify how big the artwork should be, uh, but let's just grab that so you can have that there. Track format. So it, I'm guessing it'll, if you had it playing uh, MP3s, you could use it to actually automatically put new titles in. Um, but I don't really want that because I'm just doing a stream, audio stream of like me talking, not playing back music. I'm going to get rid of the this because I don't really need that right now. But that would be interesting if you were playing MP3s, like say for a live streaming, you could actually grab the, <laughs> you know what, let's just see here. Uh, I don't know if that'll work, but if I go back to Farago and start playing some other sample sets. doesn't look like it works that way for Farago anyways. We'll just change that to no source. The setup here is now, this is where it gets a little more complicated because you need to know your setup server URL and the key code that you're sending to your server. So whether this is Twitch, Periscope, uh, YouTube Live, I'm going to use Periscope. I'm guessing this is going to take us to a knowledge base as to how to get there. 
So important note, um, Facebook Live's RTMMPS, which I'm guessing is the secure version of RTMP, um, but I don't know that for sure. Don't quote me on that, is not supported. So um, let's just jump down. So I've already got a Periscope account. You'll need to have that if you don't already. Um, and let's, I'm just gonna log in. Let's go to the producer. We're gonna create a new source. I've used other services to try this out with. So uh, let's call this uh, Audio Hijack, just so I can remember which one it was. And uh, I'm gonna delete this afterwards, so the stream key is not gonna work in case somebody's watching. It's not gonna be that, because you don't wanna give out your stream key. So server URL goes in there. Make sure I grab the right one. Stream key goes in there. I think we can do low latency, but uh, we won't worry about that. Accepting super hearts is their thing for uh, people who are making money off Periscope, which I'm not. So I'm gonna try higher quality. I think I could probably get away with best quality. I just don't know on since I'm testing this out um, if that's all gonna work. So now in theory, I should be able to hit record and it's gonna start streaming out. I actually, before I do that, I should also include a audio device for Telestream because I need it the screen flow, the recorder, that's actually recording this um, as an output device, both sides of it, just so I get, and make sure that's actually at the end there. And then also I need to make sure I'm hearing it, send it to, I can never remember, I always, I know in other videos I've done this where I can never remember if I need this for my sound, my capture device, audio plugin preamp thingy. Very technical term. Okay, so let's see what happens if I hit go live. So, I definitely don't need that on, and probably don't need this. I'm hearing duplicate, probably from that, but I wanna make sure it's actually getting recorded. So I'll just deal for now. Put on some music. Just gonna turn it off for a second. Uh, okay, put on some music on Farago. And now I'm just gonna check on my old telephony device. See if it's gone live. It doesn't give me any errors. I'm not seeing it on Periscope yet. Oh, I have to go here, right? I have to go back to Periscope. Oh, I have to go here, right? I have to go back to Periscope. Testing out. Okay, now I'm hearing it. Triple it. Audio hijack. 3.7. Live stream. Yeah, let's go public. Share this broadcast on Twitter. Sure. Go live. I'm used to using, um, I've used uh, things like Ecamm Live on the computer for streaming. That's with video. Um, and that takes care of this part of the step. Or, or you could go out to Restream would be another way uh, with Periscope or with Audio Hijack that you could actually send it out as well, I think. So there you go. It's actually live on my phone. Looks like it. I don't know if you can see that, but... Hello out there in Periscope land. I am streaming or testing out a stream of uh, Audio Hijack. They just announced a new version of their app that allows you to do stream audio out as you record it in Audio Hijack to services like Periscope, Twitch, and YouTube, and just works. Let's see, I'm just gonna go like this. I'm used to actually, <laughs> I'd have to adjust how I do this because I'm used to actually live streaming, assuming they're also seeing what I'm doing on the, on the computer, sharing my screen and that kind of thing. So it is a different kind of mode of doing this, but, um, I know a lot of folks would love it because they don't necessarily want to be able to want to have to stream their video, and it also saves on bandwidth. If you're in a location where there's low bandwidth, um, you'd have to have your video. You'd have to have a pair of audio out as you record it in Audio Hijack. <laughs> hearing myself again to services like Periscope. Just mute it. You have to have a window open somewhere because you'd want to see the chat. That's what right now Rogue Meba or Audio Hijack doesn't really have any sort of like pulling in the chat thing. I don't know if they'll incorporate that or if they'll leave that up to you. Um, 
Hello world in the chat. Let's see if that works. Um, so that would be the one thing. You'd have to make sure you have some way of seeing if people are actually communicating back, communicating back with you, whether it's Periscope, Twitch, uh, YouTube, etc. You'd want to pay attention to that because otherwise people might be talking back to you, <laughs> leaving you comments, telling you your audio is not working, etc. And they might be frustrated. If you're out there in Periscope land, let me know if you hear this. Otherwise, I'm going to shut it off shortly here just because this is a long screencast and I don't want it to be too long for folks uh, to be able to quickly get into this and try this out. So, thanks for listening. Feel free to subscribe. Give me hearts, super fans, whatever you say on Periscope. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, got it. Jacob Tender. Testing. One, two, three. Thank you. So it's working. At least... You knew to respond anyways. Thank you for that. I wouldn't say the uh, video image quality is super high quality, but that might be something I did. The, I know my logo isn't great, but the text is a little fuzzy. Uh, but possibly there's a something in the settings here. Maybe if I went to super high quality, it would actually improve the logo and the artwork and the text. because It looks good here. Anyways, so I'm going to cut off the live stream for now. So I think I can either go here and turn this off. Probably will kill the switch. I can also go back to Periscope producer and stop the broadcast there. So I'll do that. And then I'm going to switch back to Frago and stop that. And stop the recording. So now I've got the Periscope capture of this, which will be saved on Periscope for, I think, indefinitely. So there's a recording of what I just did on Periscope, which you could download and use that if you want. You've also got, like I said, the recording blocks here. So if I go to show files, um, I've got new blank session here of my recording. So that's a, a way to also have, right, do your live show to Periscope or Twitch or YouTube, but then have the recording that you can remaster or re-edit. If you need to add some music, maybe edit out any flubs and then repackage as a podcast that goes out and have that be done. The nice thing about streaming it live like that, even if with just the video, of, or sorry, just the thumbnail of your artwork, let's say, in the title, is if you download that from YouTube or Periscope, you've got a video that you can then upload back <laughs> to YouTube uh, ready to go. So you don't have to worry about trying to make sure you you know, throw your audio. Normally, we'd re you'd record maybe an audio hijack or whatever you record in, and then you have to edit that audio with some video footage to put it up to YouTube, let's say, to make a video version of your podcast. Now you've got a video version. It's nothing like fancy to look at, obviously, but it does have your your uh, artwork, your show title, and a little waveform thing, sort of showing little fancy graphics <laughs> on the thing, um, and and you're ready to go. So leave me some comments down below, questions in the comments down below if you have any about using this. Obviously, it's brand new to me just this morning. Felt like I needed to quickly hop on and record a video to show it, and uh, curious how you might make use of this, and uh, where whether you're, you're going out to Twitch, Periscope, YouTube, um, Lots of fun to be had with live streaming. I know I've had lots of fun with our Good Stuff community. Uh, sometimes I do, as you folks know, if you're subscribed to the channel, sometimes I'll throw a live stream up on the My Lemon Productions YouTube account that you can tune in and watch and demoing some of the stuff or just chatting with some friends about technology and things. So it's a fun way to interact live with whoever might be watching wherever they are in the world, whether they're in Shanghai, China, or <laughs> in the wilds of Canada. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you again next time.